Because God speaks to us through dreams. So if you don't, if you're not having any dreams, you got to start praying on a, a regular basis. Father, I bind up every dream killer that's trying to take away my dreams. I come up against that in the name of Jesus. Because God speaks to us through our dreams. And see, when you have negative dreams, when you speak those dreams, don't keep telling this person, that person, that person, that person. Because see, every time you say it, you're giving it more life to it. And see, you got to cancel those dreams. You got to terminate those dreams in the name of Jesus. And see, and whatever that you have dreamed, you got to understand, if somebody was giving you something in a dream, you got to, that's what they call an evil covenant, an evil load, an evil load is when the enemy have given you a package of sickness. He gave you poverty. He have given you something that don't belong to you. That's the evil load. You may say, uh, I, I was reading this book that I'm studying and it said the lady said she had a dream and she said she was at a restaurant and she seen this lady putting this black stuff on her food. She said, and she asked the lady, what is that you put on my food? And she said, and the lady told her, just eat it. Said so she gave the food back to the lady and said, I'm not going to eat it. So in other words, what she was doing was she, her spirit man was canceling what the lady, because the lady was trying to put some witchcraft in her food. And so what she was doing, she was canceling what the lady gave her. And see, and that's why we got to cancel dreams and we got to terminate them. Turn them. Terminate means to demolish them. And see, you got to break, break those evil covenants. Because like I said, if anything was given to you, if any assignment was meant against you, you got to break those covenants. What does that mean? That means that I divorce whatever that the devil is saying about me. I, I divorce it. I would not receive it. I would not take it because God did not give it to me. So you physically have to war after those things and if you keep having dreams back to back back to back day after day that means that the enemy has launched an attack against you and he's trying to take you back and he's coming up against your life spiritually and it could be meaning physically because you got to remember too you got to remember when you pray over your dreams say everything that the enemy gave me I give it back to the center I'm not going to receive nothing that God did not give me I give it back that's right. This does not belong to me. And see, we have to pray over our dreams. And see, remember, and I, I shared with you last time that when you see yourself cooking in, in, in a pot, one of those cow drawn pots, those witches' pot, those black pots, that's an initiation in witchcraft. You may have a dream, you see yourself in a refrigerator. You may see yourself in the ocean and you talking to some strange people. You don't know who they are. See, those are satanic initiations. Because, see, when people in witchcraft, they don't. They, they go pick the people who they initiate. It ain't like they say, hmm, you want to be one? They don't do it like that. They just go in their dreams, hmm, I'm going to just make a cake and give it to them. Whoever eat this cake, that's who's going to be one. And see, and that's why we got to pay attention. Because see, even when you eat and plant, you eat food. Even I, I was reading in the book that it cause miscarriages. They said that even that even when you see something, God is about to do something good in your life, and all of a sudden you see yourself having sex with somebody. The enemy has came to abort what God got ready to do. Think about that now. How many times you you something you you're about to get a promotion? And see, you got to understand when you open up your mouth and you start speaking stuff to people, you never know who have a witchcraft spirit on the inside of them. Just because that person might not know, but witchcraft may be in their bloodline. Because you got to remember, generational curses go down to four generations. So if somebody got a bloodline of witchcraft in them, and you say, yeah, girl, they told me that the job was mine, and all I got to do is sh um, just show up. Now, you didn't know that Sister Red Chair had an assignment of witchcraft in her bloodline. So she go, she just go out the place, and all of a sudden, the spirit in her go tell the person who told you that you had a job. Now they change them, they mind and say, I don't want to hire them. Think about it. Now the thought just come to their mind, you don't want them for the job. This lady ain't said nothing. You just spoke it because you gave them authority when you told them what God was doing in your life. 
And see, then you may say, why did God let that happen? And God said, no, why did you let that happen? Because you're supposed to discern what's in that person's spirit who you're talking to. That, that, it's just like when I was selling houses. I had one friend.